this is what's buzzing in our school. We can show you a lot of cool news. Hi, I'm Lucy Telto. We have lots of things happening around our school that everyone would like to hear about. Yep, we have some good stuff buzzing in the hive. We've got some big events in February, like Valentine's Day and Black History Month. Yes, we do. You better believe it. <laughs> See what I did there? Did you know there are many interesting things happening in February? Here are some of our reporters gathering information. Welcome to Memphis Monthly News. I'm out here at recess with the third graders. We're going to be asking them what they're going to do over midwinter break. You're going to do over midwinter break. Play Fortnite. Sounds fun. I hope you have a good break, Vincenzo. Okay. What are you going to do over midwinter break? Going to my friend's house. Okay. <laughs> have a good midwinter break. I'm to Bella. My name is Isabella Pekanke, and today I'm going to be asking some third graders what their favorite part of Valentine's, of Valentine's Day. Um... In eighth three, we're going to town to hand out notes to every business in town. That sounds really fun. Next third grade. Or Valentine's Day. A uh, given. Okay, that sounds really good. Hi, I'm Emma Servet, and I'm Leah Bajork. We are buzzing to introduce you to the one of the people who are making the Memphis Elementary play happen. Give it up for Miss Kirschlin. Thank you for being here today. I just want to know, how was it when you were doing trials with Miss Wazikowski? It was very exciting. It was nice to see all the students that practiced really hard their monologues and took the time to review them even over the holiday break. And it was fun to see you guys begin to act. Yeah, I would agree 100%. Like, it was like a nervous, like, excited combo. Like, you really didn't know what was going to happen. Um, next question. Sure. How hard was it picking roles? We did spend, after the last day of tryouts, we spent a good deal of time going through all the roles and how many lines there were and looking at, you know, what the students' dedication was to school and taking that in a big account. So we did spend quite a bit of time, but it was fun picking the roles and I know that everybody's gonna do wonderful at the play. That's great. Um, well, thank you so much for your time. Now, next, Ms. Wazikowski. Hi, I'm Emma Service. And I'm Leo Dorf. We're back again. We are very excited to introduce you to the next person who is making the Memphis Elementary play happen. Give it up for Ms. Wazikowski. Thank you for being here today. I just want to know, how was it when you were doing tryouts with Mrs. Kirschling? Tryouts were great. We had a lot of kids show up and they did their best. And I was really impressed with all the kids that came into tryouts. That really makes me happy. <laughs> um, well, did you have a hard time choosing the roles? We did. There was a lot of kids who really wanted the large parts and the medium parts. So it was hard for Mrs. Kirschling and I to div divide all of the parts up and make sure that everybody was happy. But in the end, did it work? It did, it did all work out, so. That's great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for today. Bye. You're welcome, bye. Now, February is known as Valentine's Day. Maybe you will give chocolates to whoever you love. Well, let's see what everyone's favorite candy is. Do you like Reese's Cups, Kit Kat, Snickers, Hershey's, or m &Ms? On this graph, the most popular candy in our school is... This month, we are going to talk about changing our passwords. The most common password is password. If you have a weak password like 1234, then you should change it to a stronger password with lots of letters and numbers because people are finding easier ways to hack into accounts. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that 81% of people who get hacked have weak, have weak passwords? Hi, my name is Riley Phillips. And my name is Isla Lyon. Did you know that a black woman named Maya Angelou was a famous autobiography writer? An autobiographical writer is a book about a person's life. One thing she is famous for is her autobiographical writing. Here's a photo of one of her books. If you want to know more about Maya Angelou, there is a good book in the library you can read. Thanks for watching.
The Beatrice Thornton Student Art Exhibition is an annual art show that features artwork from Blue Water area students. There are two shows, one of elementary students' work and the other is middle and high school students' work. Schools from all throughout the Blue Water area were invited to participate. Beatrice Thornton was an art teacher in Port Huron who wanted to give her students the opportunity to show their work in a professional setting outside of their school. Many of our students were able to have their artwork featured at the Beatrice Thornton exhibit, as you'll see here in some of these photographs with their art teacher, Mrs. Hewlett. Great job to all of our little artists. Thank you so much for checking in to see what's buzzing around our hive. Make sure to watch next month's show and see what's buzzing. Watch you stop at those bee puns. Bye! <laughs>